Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legion TD on Lil. Okay, I'll play that clock. I think it's just good enough to keep considering the fact that I like Sprite. But we'll have a look at the roles of the team. We're playing Sea Giant. Okay, we've dropped and rolled. Right, we're gonna keep it though. We're gonna play Ig, probably. We're gonna play Lod. Yeah, I'm totally down to just play Clock. Like, the team has a lot of overbuild, so I just YOLO. Like, it's not an amazing YOLO, but I think it's just, like, good enough. Two Clock, two Sprite. On three if I need to cover three. Actually. How fucked are we to Warrior? We're like fine, but I kinda wanna try this. I think this might be interesting. <laughs> uh, wonder if I'm getting fucking map hack check after this one. Right, happy days, I guess, for me. Get very much rewarded for adding this sprite. Alright, <laughs> stop it with the stuns now, come on. You've got a dodge chance. I think I can go for the Lumberjack. Pretty sure Clock Sprite should hold two to nice end. Clock uh, Sprite is really good on two. And if I leak a tiny bit, it's like... It's bad, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, nice. My Sprite's not going to die, at least immediately. Because I'd really be stoked to get some money here. This is still a super punishing Warriors for us, but I think it's better that I build the way I do. Maybe it's not, maybe it's like actively bad for us, I'm not sure. I'm right with five. Five makes sense to me. What did we add here? We added like an Acolyte, right? Yeah, that's totally fine. Protects him against a resend. The question is, like, what do I do for 6? The answer to that is I have no fucking idea currently. I don't know why I'm building this. <laughs> like, I just don't need to. I'm so confident that I hold here. Sprite is really good on 2. And Clock is tanky as hell. So yeah, Sprite. Chance to 2 shot, right? Yeah. Light armor with a dodge chance. So as long as the clock tanks the majority, which it is, we should be completely fine. Yep, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I get away with a super early 3-1. I could push a little more, but I think I'm just going to build up. So I'm like safe first recent 3, which they could go for if they have a really good push. Especially because this level's quite slow. So I just choose to cover three here, basically. Because everyone else is pretty bad, even versus Ferb. We're pretty good four, right? Yeah, we're totally fine on four. Even if they send, we won't leak much, so... Yeah, so this is overbuild for me, but I think it's fine. 
I got a really early 3-1, so um, that'll just make life easy. And I'm not certain I hold 3 if I had just one sprite. I probably do though, so maybe I should have just done that. Oh well, I think this way is okay anyway. I'll just push 7-1, I think now. Adding one sprite was probably better here, actually. I think that's a mistake. But 330? Do I really hold with 330? I'm not sure. It's like if I need two sprite, it's just like fucking pointless, right? I think I might push a lumberjack here. Yeah. Blood Orc Verb in Income? That seems very reasonable to get. Kind of makes sense. Definitely could have just like, that is terrible placement on that cannon though. That is like actually really really heinous placement. Should 100% be here. I would be super down for someone to leak here. Someone that's not me though, <laughs> just so we're clear. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm never leaking with the sprite and two clocks. Okay, they're looking kind of overbuilt here. I'm gonna kill really slow here, so that's good. Wait, did this clock use its repair already? Maybe this is even a pro lake. No, it didn't use its repair yet. This is a really nice time. Tiny bit off. That's okay. I could have sent a dino when I reached my thingy, but... Like this, we'll just, uh... Mix up what I was going to do. I was going to get two sprites here, but we will just get a Fangtooth instead. Because I think Fangtooth is not too bad on R6. Always take an extra second to make sure I get the uh, correct one. And we'll just add a sprite on 6. So obviously I don't like actively want a Fangtooth, right? It's not good, but it's really not too bad. I think it's like the best option I have for 6 as well. I place it the like half spot behind because I want the clocks to tank most of it. Okay cool, they don't send here. Good for uh, good for me. I want the clocks to tank most of it I say as the Fangtooth runs in front and a clock runs behind and the uh, Fangtooth ends up tanking like the vast majority of the wave. That's not ideal. We'll see if I like here. The sprite's doing a really good job and I think it's not actually going to die so I'll be fine anyway. Yeah, that was awkward. That's like not how that's supposed to look. But oh well. I mean it's good enough I guess. 43 leaks on them is not bad considering our send was like not very good. I think it was okay. 7 units. It's nice and close here. Alright, straight to the king is good. Stomp, alright. We'll see how um, I'm feeling about the holds. I don't really like our holds, but maybe they're good enough. We probably can't, honestly. If we want to break 7, but I'm not sure. They're definite. Yeah. I think it's just like okay to do a little bit of attack here. I'll probably get like most of their mana back. My send should still be like okay. Get another sprite here, right? Yeah. Job done. 
wonder if this is meant to be in front. I feel like if I put it in front, it's super fucking bad. I'm gonna try it anyway, though. Well, eh. I think Sprite is like too short range to build it in front. Grab another Geomats here and just full build. I'm gonna want 3 clock for 8. I don't wanna reroll this honestly because, like, I'm a relevant line after le that level 1. Like, looking at our rolls level 1, I expect it to be like the fucking push and die line, but that's just not gonna happen. I'm actually fat as hell. He says as he likes off the wave on 6. No, Fang Tooth is much smarter this time. That actually, well, no. Okay, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Fang Tooth has decided that life is overrated. It's alright, Fang Tooth. Need to give him uh, the number to dial up lifeline after this game. Clearly, because he's, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, good enough good enough. Had pretty nice damage share. Overall, honestly, I can't complain too much. Now oh, we get a nice scout here. I think we're sending as well. Can we blood orc? Yeah, Blood Orc for Permit. I can cover something. Can't cover like everything though. Yeah, I can uh, I can do a fub. I'm just like gonna say that mostly because it's fucking red Red's job to die this game. Like it just is what it is. He got fully fucked on one. He's not a good hold here. He's probably gonna leak to this end. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Rami. This fang tooth has been a problem. Alright, we've got a mid? Nice, this is really good. It's a good mid, well done. Is that two butcher, two horizon? Surely that's not the same line. Jesus. Two butcher, two horrors, that is insane. Yeah, we're doing HP, HP, mate, but uh, our push is pretty awkward. Are you gonna build a wisp? Surely we're not planning to stay alive. I mean, like, we're just kinda ripped, no? Minus one on them. So our heal, okay nice. It's gonna say depends on the stomp cooldown. The stomp cooldown was up quickly enough, so that's really good. Okay, this is feeling like a pretty nice game. So yeah, we'll grab the farm. Grab a clock and a sprite, yep. I don't love three clocks, but Yeah, that's why the two Hellraiser is probably like not very good on him, but good for us. 
I'm gonna push now, obviously. Um, I don't have the roll to damage 10, and I'm not willing to reroll yet. I want at least one, at least a couple of half breeds dropped, and probably like way more Thunderbirds than this. I should do fast regen here. Yeah. Probably you want like six, seven. Fuck off, Rami. I mean, you can build like me or you can build like Rum. So you can build like a fucking Chad with the suicide fang tooth. Or you can like, I don't know, do whatever the fuck Rummy does. Overbuild every level. Yeah. He is the lane that goes Lumber Bank, even though it's awkward to do that with a Hydra start, he's just fucked. And it'd just be like that. Yeah, you could Ascendant 10 and still kill Zer and kill like one boss with 7 4, right? Uh, with 7 2 or some shit, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. He's not having a good game, but Warriors will do that to a Sea Giant. I have no intention of sending verbs for anyone, because as I've said a couple of times on Fat as Hell, I should already be holding um Yeah, I agree with uh Emil there. I should already be holding nine so I can just fast push to seven five and then build up the rest of seven five. And I just have like a pretty good game here. Yeah, maybe this Fangtooth needs to be like here or here. You know, like uh, another half spot back, because the half spot was not enough. It is for things like Greymane, but it is clearly not enough for Mr. Fangtooth here. Anyway, it's not the end of the world of course, but... It's just an interesting sort of thing to look at. So, Emily should be able to get a Solar Villain and a Wyvern here, so that's really good. Or he can get a lot, I guess, but I think he'll go Solar Villain Wyvern, because he's an intelligent builder. Seems like we're team 7-5 a little bit, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but they also seem pretty fucking weak, so it's probably fine. Anyway, easy hold here as I said, Sprite Thunderbird really good, Clock is like acceptably tanky. Just do my third now I guess, because we're saving it income. I'm gonna do some bows. It's pretty awkward that um, the line that's like really meant to push is the line that probably has the hardest time doing it. Or it's pretty awkward that like if they didn't warrior, I would just be the pushing line, and like that would line up more conveniently with what I planned to do, which was early, which was like push. You know, I got accelerated a bit because of the warriors, but it ended up being like. Um, pretty standard, right? Anyway, a couple of Thunderbirds, grab another Sprite, it's got a good chance at sniping a boss. I'm just gonna jump up for a sec. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back. So yeah, hopefully I get one boss that's like kind of fast and I can just DPS it down. Uh, if only because it's 50 gold, and I like 50 gold. It may come as a shock, but I actually do quite like 50 gold. So we got a talk, a couple of revs, I like that. They did Pudge, but it's like not a massive send, so we'll just see how we go. 
We probably need to king, but it's not the end of the world. I kill my purge nice and quick. All of my thunderbirds are like going to be hitting one boss. I don't think I've got enough damage to kill. But nah, not even close. But like this is okay damage for 7-5. Like I'm pretty happy with it. We sniped a boss. We did some damage. Like this is a good result. I'm probably going to end up being 7-6 after 10 unfortunately. I'd like to hero in 7-5, but it really does look like 7-6 is correct. And yeah, they're like 9 bosses. Is green mid? Maybe. Yeah, okay. That's fine though. Mid on 10 with 2 hell raises. Oof, Emily, what are you doing, son? It's pretty unlucky. Oh well, at least we do get a resummon. 7-4 should really not upgrade the king this very much. We okay here? I think we're okay here. We probably even over-upped it. Considering stomp is pretty good. Probably need to clean up that KC. Yeah, I think we should be completely fine. Alright. They're losing another heal. So we're going to have four heals and like a talk line, so we just need to kill them, I guess. I'm also going to go six and look to send an infernal. Is that minus three? Yeah, minus three. Fifteen is indeed a completely free win. Maybe I even go seven because they decided to play like this. I'm just gonna do that, I think. I really don't see a sprite making the difference on Arena. I'm still not gonna leak though. Like, that's the thing, all we need to do is kill them, which is not difficult at all. It's just literally just more free of a win if I get a push in, isn't it? I mean, we have three more heals, like, are we... Do we need me on Valley? I mean, I can stay, I just think I would rather confirm. I think push is correct though. I would rather just get another large send in. We never ever. That's like the only thing that where they can like maybe somehow come back is going king and like having a fucking miracle uh, surviving 15, which is not going to happen, right? Like it's entirely unrealistic, but may as well, like when we're this far ahead, we can just plan for the unrealistic scenario, right? Like, we're not going to die 14, we have 4 heals, we have 2 fat fucking lines that are both good 14. Like, so that's not going to happen. The same goes for 12 and 13. Like, yeah, I'm still going to clear 15. <laughs> like, I'm not going to leak um, any level, except maybe 11, but I think I'm fine here anyway. So basically, I wanted to stay a little bit lower, because um, if they... 
if 10 goes better for them or worse for us, right, then maybe I do want to stay 7-5. But we didn't lose any heals, so the game's just like free as fuck. Looks like a leak from the heal is maybe good anyway. They're prob it looks like they're leaking though. Maybe. Hard to tell. Pink? Probably. 60 to 70 bounty. That is some fat fucking bounty. But yeah, red can like the rest of the levels. And I'll build up from here. I only like here because uh, 11's a really bad level for me. But it doesn't make a difference if I like. Huh. Pink managed to hold. So it was yellow. Based on the fact that the lakes are on the left hand side of the line. Yeah, okay. But yeah, all I need to do is kill them 15. It's nice not having to use uh, use the brain in this game. It is quite relaxing, actually. I mean... Nope. is like clearing 5th aim with this bush, which is not massively relevant in fairness because we have two lines that we can expect to be mid, but it's still nice. Like there is absolutely no reason for me to actually force lakes, I just push up so I have a really good send. Just to make 100% sure we can kill them, even though we can 100% kill them, even if I don't push it's like, you know, at this point it's like, well, if I stay 7-5 or 7-6 then we win, but maybe like 1% of the time they roll the best fucking units imaginable, go king, dinos, etc, and are able to survive and then the game is awkward, right? I'm pretty sure me pushing 7-7 seven, seven and sending 3600 just removes that scenario entirely, right? Like I'm pretty sure that scenario doesn't get to exist with the way I've played. What it does open up is the poten potential of them sending 14 and us king leaking, but it doesn't fucking matter. We have two lines that are so strong on 15 and they're on 14, sorry, and they're bad on every level. Like we can kill them through the archer 16. Well, eh. Maybe not, because the yeah, aqua hydra is pretty good, but we can kill them 17 really easily. That ship is on green. God. But even if they send 14, we'd probably get to um, 15 anyway. I think so, at least. I'm gonna get up Goliath here, and I'll set up to... Uh, and I'll set up like a bit more frontline. I think that's good. I could re-roll, of course, but I'm just not going to. I kind of like Thunderbirds. I have absolutely no need to re-roll here. If I was like, I needed to mid, and that was my job this game, this game it's not, because I've decided that this game my job is to send 3600, hopefully. Hopefully I reach 36. But yeah, I decided my job was to get a big send, right? So like, yeah, sure. We're going Windriders? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, they're good behind 380s. Doesn't need to reroll. He doesn't need to mid-15. I guess he's just looking to cover 14 now, which is fair enough. Because for me, I would need 7-5 to be like relevant 14, and even then I'm not that strong on 14. So I think it's just correct to do this. Because if I was 7-5, I'll go full Thunderbird with two Goliath anyway. And then I can, and you know, at some point use the free reroll. There's a nice leak here. I think it's a leak anyway. Or is it just a hold? It's pretty close. No, it is a leak. It's a good leak though. That's easy uh, 36 for me and for him now. The only question is like, do they send 14? Maybe. Does it work? No. So that's why I'm like not stressed about it, right? Yeah, we full build 14, but I mean, we have four fucking heals, so there's absolutely no fear. Like, 
like walking like, but well, probably. I mean, it's not even guaranteed, right? So yeah, two Goliaths for a bit of frontline 14. I'm actually one gold off. No, I'm not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Emil. Everyone's fucking rolling. We got Hydra, which is not even good here, honestly. He didn't really leave space to build Hydra just behind the top, which is fine. He doesn't need it. We're just going to like ping that because that deserves to be pinged. And then this is like pretty crap. I'm not going to bother building like a tier 2. It doesn't make a fucking difference. <laughs> yeah, they send here. But I mean, it's just not going to be enough, right? I mean, we probably don't even need to up. At least sometimes we don't even need to up. I feel like we don't even need to up the king. I think we should just go 15 honestly, like... We have 4 heals, stomp and what, 25 creeps? Even gets 2 resummons here, that's disgusting. Like, we can lose a heal. Like, who gives a fuck? We have four. 18 creeps to the king. Do we still go 15? I would still go 15. It's four fucking infernals. Like, there is no way they are holding four infernals. It's just entirely unrealistic. And we don't even lose a heal at the end of it. I was thinking we'd probably lose one heal, but I guess War Stomp is pretty good. But yeah, this is like the reasoning behind pushing, right? Is because, okay, it lets them send 14. How did their send 14 go? Um, we didn't lose a heal and we didn't up the king. Okay, so that was probably fine then, right? It's that sort of thought process for why I push 7-7. Seven, seven. And now I get to send a lot of lumber. And we don't have to, like, faff around and worry, oh, can we kill them? Can we not? Can we kill them? Is it possible? It's like, of course it's fucking possible, right? It's four infernals and two behemoths. Like, the send is absolutely obnoxious. And it's going to be like three warlocks as well. So yeah, we got super far ahead. Level 1, level 5, level 7, level 10. Like, just every fucking level went well for us, which was good. And I mean, it kind of all stemmed from my little adjustment there on level 1. I feel like that was a bit of a difference maker. Maybe I'm wrong, but that felt pretty nice. To do, and I think it was good. Because normally I would stay 2 0, sprite for 2, and then second clock for 3, right? Well, that's like an option I had to be really safe. Sprite Geomancer for 2. And then second clock for 3, and then I'm built for 3. And it's like it locks me into 2 0, so it's bad if they send on 2, but they never send on 2 into our kill speed. Um, like they actually just never send on 2 into our kill speed. So I'd want to cover three anyway, because we weren't great three. So I think it was fine um, to build that anyway. Yeah, it was GG level five, indeed. Like three zero green and not mid. Yeah, it really just ends the game for them. Yeah, as you can see, they didn't have a very good time here. 
it was maybe a bit overkill, but like, you know, I'd rather do that. They probably pushed his M14. Wouldn't surprise me. It's like desperation, but maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that, and I'll catch you in the next one.